So this might help the 23 of us that are still running a Woods RM660 finish mower. I bought this thing, first time I went out, pulley bearing exploded. I had to get a new one. It was down for a while. I got the new bearing, put a new belt on it. I run it maybe twice and the belt broke. And the belt was such a pain that I didn't want to mess with it again. And it sat for like two years. And then finally I was like, I'm gonna get in here and do something. And uh, I made a few modifications you might find helpful. Yeah, it's a little janky, but I mean, maybe there's a better way to do this, but I am pretty handy at figuring things out and I couldn't figure out a better way, but yeah, it's a little janky, but I just took my old grinder and just kind of, you know, put me a little, I mean, you can see where it was. I mean, if you got one of these, you probably know, but you, I couldn't, it was impossible for me to get this belt, to keep this belt on this pulley by myself. I mean, to me, it seemed like you needed three people to do it the way it was. This way with this cut off, I can just hold it with my hand and, you know, get everything right. Just need enough room to get your hand in there. Do you need to go <laughs> all the way down? Probably not, but, you know, just about right here is probably where you need to go. I just kind of started over here. Thought maybe I could get my hand in there, but worked my way all the way back down here, ultimately, to get it to work. But another thing is this part right here is, as you can see, I kind of notched this out. You don't need to go this far. It's just where I started, you know, learn from my mistakes. But you can see where the line of this metal was. If you had a socket on there, you couldn't get it this far to take the tension off of it to get the belt on it. So I just wheeled that out. And uh, it makes it a lot easier to get it as far as you need to, you know, get your final piece over the belts. But there you go. Maybe it helps somebody. And, you know, maybe you just got one and you don't know how the belt, I mean, you know, belt's pretty easy to figure out, you know. If it's got a, you know, if it looks like this, it goes on the inside. If it looks like that, it goes on the outside. But, you know, just in case you're wondering, that's what a RM660 belt diagram kind of looks like. So I know there's not a lot of it in the internet, but there you go. You're welcome.